Hello everyone, welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we are going to take a look at introduction to power electronics. So, in order to understand power electronics, we need to first understand what electronics is associated with, isn't it? So, electronics basically deals with semiconductor devices such as diodes, BJTs to control electronic circuits. Whereas, if you talk about power electronics, it deals with power semiconductor devices such as power diodes, power BJTs, power MOSFETs to control power electronic circuits. What is the fundamental difference between these two? The power semiconductor devices are the major difference with respect to the normal diodes or semiconductor devices over here. If you carefully observe, I've used power here, I've used power here, I've used power here. Whereas these are normal diodes, normal BJTs and normal MOSFETs if you take into consideration. So what does that mean? Does it mean they will be carrying more power? Definitely yes. And in order to achieve that, basically they will be having a larger cross-sectional area compared to normal diodes. And that is why the current carrying capability or the power capacity of these devices are very large. When the capacity of power is large, we will be referring it to power diodes or power BJTs or power devices. So basically you need to add the word power to these type of devices. So what is the fundamental classification? We have seen power diodes or power devices are the fundamental classification between these two. But what is the other classification that we can talk about when we compare electronics and power electronics? It is basically the voltage rating or the power rating of these devices. If you talk about electronic circuits, you will basically have around plus or minus 5 volt or plus or minus 3.3 .3 volt to 15 volt maximum. Whereas if you talk about power electronics, you will be having few watts to megawatt amount of power. And the current carrying capacity in these devices will be up to kiloamps, which is very, very high. Whereas in these circuits, it will be maximum up to uh, 1 to 5 amps. That is the maximum current rating that these devices are capable of handling. So that is the fundamental difference. So power electronics basically deals with power semiconductor devices. Very, very important observation that is to be noted. Having seen the fundamental classification or the definition of power electronics, now you might be having a question as why should I study power electronics at the first place? And the question is reasonable. So in order to understand why do we actually need power electronics, we need to see where they are applicable or where they are actually used. I will only give you two scenarios and that pretty much sums it up as where all they can be applied as far as the applications is concerned. If we take our mobile phone charger, Basically, the AC supply will be 230 volt and it will be converted to a much lower voltage around 3.3 volt depending upon the capacity. So we will be having a power electronic circuit that converts this and the power is usually low when we talk about mobile phone charger and it is in watts. Whereas if you are talking about inverters in industrial drives, inverter is basically a power electronic circuit and I will be talking about it in detail. But if you are talking about inverters in industrial drives, it will deal with megawatt power rating. So when I say megawatt power rating and if you carefully observe here, the wattage is very, very low. It is in few watts or uh, slightly uh, in hundreds of watts. So what is the conclusion? Power electronics can be applied from few watts to megawatts. So, so power electronic basically deals with control of power from very few watts to a larger amount of power up to megawatts. And that is why a lot of people have interest to study this subject because you find it useful in almost all the applications nowadays. So as an when we move towards the course, you will be understanding what else are the different applications that can be applied. But at the first place, let us remember this power electronic circuit deals with few watts to megawatt power range. Then what are power electronic circuits? If circuits employ power semiconductor devices, then they are simply called as power electronic circuits. 
it is as simple as it looks like i hope video gave you a clear understanding of introduction to power electronics we will be talking about block diagram of power electronics in our next video stay tuned